Howdy y'all. You might be asking why I'm sitting on this thousand gallon livestock watering tank. Well, that's because I listen to my viewers. Eventually. Yeah, that's Lefty's tracks. You might be wondering how he ended up like this. Well, let's start from the beginning. Thank you for joining us on part two of the D4 final assembly series. I think our plan today is to get the tracks up over the sprockets and laid up over here so we can get the fender on, so we can get the firewall on, so we can put the fuel tank on the fender over there and run our fuel lines so we can start these engines. I'm gonna try and push this on the tracks I've got a block up there, a rubber block, to stop it, and if we get it far enough, we might bring Goliath back up over here, pick up the tracks, and put them back over the carrier and the front idler. We'll probably hook up a machine to this and push it forward. I don't think the paint that we got on the tracks, we I put it really thick. I don't think that's helping us at all. You ready? Yeah. You know what's making it hard? Uh, Those over there, uh, that track, it's not pushing down. Sometimes we forget actually how heavy this thing is now. So we've got it rigged up right here around the track frames on each side and underneath here. So I can get the skid steer around the front and we can pull it ahead. We want it to stop about where that block is. Got a block just in case? Yes. I got that one's there, but I can throw this under here. Okay, you ready? You've only got about four feet. How far do you want to go? Well, I'd like to get it to that block, but... Well, you can go a little more. Come on back, I'll stop you. That rubber one stopped it. That block didn't. We were about six inches from a real bad day. Just don't hit my beautiful grill. Yeah, well, I was—I knew you were going to be like Secret Service and dive in front of it to save it. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can move Goliath ahead, pull this track up over the top. We've decided we're going to go ahead and just tie these tracks up. I mean, when we go to start this, we can maybe even pull it outside or push it outside to start it. It wants to fight. I think the problem is we might have been a little bit too high with our crane and it was trying to pick this way instead of more straight up and down. Just like everything, we've decided to do this the most slow and painful process we possibly can. If we can get those pins in those sprocket teeth, that'll give us the slack we need so we can hook this up. And we're gonna have to back this nut off a long ways on the adjuster. 4G's tracks were lacking about another inch at least. They were very worn out, the chains. So well, these are practically new chains. Yeah, that's it. Nice, nice. I remember we were at a uh, sporting event and an old friend of ours saw my brother, my dad and I, and we were all sitting on this picnic table and he walked up and he says, well, that looks like about a thousand pounds of BS. And he's right, but I'm going to put it to use real quick. Just move the tractor. 
there's still tension on the crane. I'm going to let it down and see if that other pin will seat in that tooth of the sprocket. We got this to settle down on the sprocket like it's supposed to be. I'm going to get my track adjusting wrenches and we're going to back this off about as far as we can get it. For adjusting those tracks, I'm going to be using this 9F3869, and this is an original Caterpillar wrench. But I also have this other track adjuster wrench right here. As you can see, the head's tilted a little further, and this one actually works a lot better to get in there. This one's a 3B3874. How come these cans are always... <laughs> it's been one of them days. Oh, just what I thought. What? Can't it's turn. tight. Oh, there it goes. It's going, but it's hard. Yeah, this is going to be a be long, long... A lot of sweat. Yeah. out of breath because that was a workout for both of us that is yeah but we got them backed off all the way i mean we're quarter inch from all the way on this side you can see we went about i don't know inch and three quarters dad says that was two and an eighth of an inch boy my measuring tape in my head is wrong and how much did we move this one here dad oh we're gonna see right now uh that one was uh Two and three quarters. Yeah, and I think we're gonna need every bit of that with these tight new tracks. I do have to give credit to the 3B1134 cheater pipe. You have to have that. Wow. I guess the next step is to try and button it up. I don't think I've complained about the heat enough today. It is 100 degrees outside, and in here it's probably uh, upper 90s. It's, it's hot. It's really hot. And this shop does pretty well if we keep the doors closed, because it faces south, so... We open up the doors, the heat comes in here, it, it's done. It turns this shop into an oven. We got our grab hooks rigged up on the track. We're gonna try and squeeze it together with a binder. Or as grandpa used to call him a boomer. And that really drove my dad nuts. Well, it's closer. <laughs> now we're only four inches away instead of six. That sucker would just bend. I know. <sighs> we're closer. We're like two inches away now. Nope. Nothing, huh? You're humping up the track here in the middle. All right, we're gonna try the 3B1134 again. Probably should get down. We just need a couple of them pins to bend and it work. Yeah, we're almost there. Piece of the formal H. cheater off but well you can see the top of the hole we're almost there just this frozen link on the end here yeah yeah otherwise look how close we are you know what we need what a real a big tapered punch, punch. yeah i think we got it pretty close we're gonna give it a try there it goes well that's one now we got to do the other one. It's been a few days since our track fiasco. I've been editing. Dad's had other things to do. But we've been thinking and worrying. And thinking and worrying. You could say it. Just say it. I told you so. Say it. Say it. You can all say it. It's fair. We're going to pull this thing maybe back out of the way or over here. We're going to jack it up in the air, pull the tracks out. We're gonna pull that other track off. I've got some cattle tanks outside and we're gonna just set them in that tank and soak them. Dad also talked to grandpa and he told us that when he was in the army up in Alaska and they had D8s that sat in mud and the tracks rusted up, that they did the same thing and made they built a big trough to Put the, take the tracks off and put them in and soak them in water. The tracks were so froze up 
that a D8 wouldn't even move. It'd just pull the engine down and do nothing. Yeah, and we don't want to, on a new engine, a newly rebuilt engine, we don't want to have that problem. We want to be able to break this engine in properly, and we want it to move properly, so... <sighs> Let's soak some tracks. Now we just need to jack the front of the D4 up and then we can drag the tracks out of here. I think we can slide them right out. You ready? I guess so. <laughs> it won't work. I know, but it still makes me nervous. Grandpa's favorite saying was nervous in the service. What are you nervous in the service? It'll clear the rollers. Okay, now we can drag those tracks back out of here. We're gonna go out and clean up a water trough and get it ready, start filling it with some water. It's funny how narrow focused I've been that I forgot that we even had those things out there and that was even an option till Dad brought it up this morning. Dad's already scooting that one and we could drag it out that door and this one out this door. For our penance, Dad and I agree that you should leave us and I told you so in the comments down below because we totally deserve that. You would not believe what we've done why we're out here, it's crazy. this project done in time. And just with minutes left, a stuck chain throws a monkey wrench into everything. It looks like we got enough room to get that in there next to the other one. Perfect. Okay, let me get our bricks under there. I, I'm kind of surprised these both fit in here, to be honest with you. They just barely fit. Down. Now we don't have to fill the trough up all the way. No. Just, just to cover the chains, really. Those chains need to soak for quite a while. And now the clock is ticking until the show. While we wait, Aaron and Gray have important things to get together on the D4. so hot out here, I kind of want to jump in there with them. Yeah, I do too. I was thinking of that earlier. I think that's probably enough now. Probably. Bye, Trax. Now we wait. We're going to put some other things together on here, but I do want to thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. You know, I'm, I'm worried about this. I'm going to put it over here on my tape. Okay. Worried that's going to get bent or dropped or lost. It'll be right here with it, this stuff. Or get abducted by somebody in a van with ice cream and candy. Yeah. <laughs> Dad didn't like that I set the gasket for the pony motor carburetor up here. That was an off color joke. I apologize for that.